Hello, this is Paraco Patch, and welcome back to another episode of Curious Expedition 2. In the last episode, we have started the big final expedition of the year, uh, and we are tasked with retrieving the treasure from the evil creature within the cave. Uh, but before we were doing all that, I decided to go have a bit of a mooch about and to see what's going on. It is the Highlands. DLC because we're all we're doing is playing DLC right now and uh, yeah we finished off with a shaman got rid of a few of the of the bad traits that we've had uh, and uh, yeah indeed we are here now it would appear looking at our little compass down here this is where we need to head uh, which is fine uh, we will we will get there but I figure let's go a little bit to the east and, and see what's over here first. We won't venture too far. And then once we've done that, uh, maybe find a shrine or two. Uh, and then we can make our way up to that cave where I presume we're going to have a big fisticuffs on our on our hands. But I, I, I'm digressing. I don't know. Let's 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 find out first. I mean, there must be something around here. I knew there was something here. Oh, oh, there's a trader down there. You know. Oh, um, and also uh, the friendly Nessie thingy. Twenty six to get there. Let's do it. I mean, come back to this. It's fine. Here we are. I mean, how are we? Sixty eight. So, um, let's let's visit the trader first. No, let's do Juby first. Cocoa leaves. We got stuff to trade. Um, let's see the serpent. I suppose before the trader, he might give us something. We thought it was a mere legend, but here it was in front of our very eyes. A great lake-dwelling serpent. Well, just like he said, it's a great lake-dwelling serpent. It smiled a toothy smile before indicating with a claw that it wanted something from us. Ah! That's fine. As it turns out, I've got some cocoa leaves. Oh, you want more? More? Uh, you can have an adrenaline. Oh, he likes that. Can I have a cocoa leaf back? No. He wants it all. Alright, I dig it. The serpent accepted my items in its clawed grip, then it do dove beneath the waves. Time passed, but just as I would, it would not return. The water parted and the serpent rose again. It dropped something on the ground. With a wide grin, the serpent told me it was certain that I would value it every bit as much as what I had given up. Before the sea creature had time to find out if I was right, or if it was right, it was gone. I'll take that. I picked up what it had left behind and prepared to leave. That is cool. I I I will I will take that. Trader. To my surprise, I encountered a colourfully dressed travelling merchant. He was bowed beneath a heavy pack, but cheerfully greeted me with a wave. Cooey! What you got, friend? What do you have? What's that? Magnifying glass. A tool for uncovering everything from the smallest secret to the most ancient of mysteries. That's interesting. I mean, other than that. I mean, I could get rid of the religious psych and it didn't work out too well for me. How much is it worth? 92? Don't think I'm going to get close, though. That's the only thing. I'm pretty I'm pretty all right for green anyway, aren't I? Red and green, red and blue, green and blue and red, blue and blue and green, blue and green, green. Mm. What would I replace? I, I mean, it's only the crucifix here, really, isn't it? If I was to give you the crucifix, right? And I wanted the magnifying glass. And I gave you the religious icon. Oh, ooh, we're pretty close. Pretty, pretty close. Not that close. I... Do I feel comfortable doing that? Is 
do I feel comfortable doing that? I mean, I'm giving up 15. You know what? Screw it. <clears throat> I'm going to leave it. Approach a trader. I'm just going to rob him. I'm just going to rob the guy. Aha! Marbles. I'll take marbles. Alfred Grace flashed a grin and revealed what he had taken. I had to admire his skill. It seemed that the theft had gone unnoticed. Cool, Daddy. Eh? Um, right. So, do I go and check this out? I mean, it's not that far away, is it? It's a shrine, you know. Uh, right. First things first. Let's get rid of the granola bar and the chocolate. Uh, one whiskey. Got away with that. Trying it. A nauseous smell was lying in the air. It was probably coming from the fumaroles in the distance. That's all right. Inside was a small empty chamber. A long hallway led to the altar room ahead. I stepped carefully, wary of traps. Can we do it? I reckon we can. Oh, no. I'm going to leave that. Plenty. Beneath some debris, I discovered a hidden trap door in the floor. Opening it, I saw a second gloomy chamber beneath this one. I lowered myself into the hole, landing lightly on my feet in the hidden area below. I found myself among the ruined remains of an arcanist workshop that had been destroyed in some kind of fire. Perhaps something here could be salvaged. Show me. Oh, got one of them. Got one of them. All right. So, what else we got? We forced like some kind of ceremonial room. Sigils of warning indicated that the poison cloud could descend on any mad enough to steal the treasure. I'm fine with that. I am absolutely fine with that. A foul gas began to billow through the cracks in the stone around us, the walls collapsing from the pressure. Running outside, I emerged to a vile landscape of spreading poisonous clouds. <gasps> Ozy nosy. Right, so... <clears throat> So we definitely can't get along that way. We're going northwards after this. So I don't want to go that way. I want to go. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. All right, we better go and check in on the locals. They're going to love us. All the buildings of this village were raised above the water on sturdy wooden piles. The dwellings looked like a cosy respite from the grim weather. The island just seems suspicious. Hmm. Western village for zero. Am I reading that right? Um, let's trade first. Let's get them on our side. What are these? Improved Pictish crossbow. An intricately designed wooden crossbow. Made for hunting rather than warfare. Wow, that's not bad. That's okay. And that is just, just that. Uh, what are you? Leafy sprig, a small twig with a few leaves, carefully arranged to blend in with the environment. A surprisingly effective camouflage. Or a duck caller. Uh, right. Hmm. What's the loyalty like currently? One, one, one. It doesn't matter. They love me. Okay, so not too fussed by that. Let's, uh, I mean, what are our weapons like? Because that is a pretty decent weapon. Four there. Four there. Three there. Three there. So that's green and red. Yeah, I need that. I can't, I can't swap you out. It's only really you, so I'm swapping green and red out. Four. 
or green. I don't have a lot of red. I mean, it's not a lot of options when it comes to, like a lot of faces which are red, but I do need red. So, yeah, I'm thinking just the mangoes. So if I was to take all those, do you like religious icons? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Uh, what else can I give you? I mean, fame. Fame. If I was to give you all the marbles... Standing of four. And I can take all of the earwax and still get a plus three. I think that's how I want that to pan out. That'll do. That'll do. Alright, so Resting Village Zero. Did, did, have I actually got a perk? I can't remember. Has somebody got a perk? I don't know. We'll do it anyway. As Darlene's fell, the islanders lit a campfire, invited us to sit with them. A crying in the night disturbed me just as I was drifting off to sleep. Aghast, I saw a strong woman sink to her knees in the village centre, tears streaming down her face. It seemed that one of the village elders had died. Wails of mourning rang out as the villagers began to perform an elaborate funeral ritual that continued throughout the night. Funeral rites were still ongoing when I awoke. Inconveniently, villagers were forbidden from non-funeral activities. Our presence seemed to make the mourners uncomfortable. Well, better go then, I guess. I mean, I've got I've got that up, which is fine. I could steal. I'll be angry if I get caught. Yolo. Oh, <laughs> fantastic! Alfred Graves flashed a grin and revealed what he had taken. I had to admire his skill. It seemed that the theft had gone unnoticed. Now we're going to skedaddle. We got ready and sallied forth as new adventures were waiting. The villagers seemed indifferent to my departure. Oh, right. So. Let's go grab the butterflies. And then make our way north. Oh. Let's go grab the butterflies and make our way north. So we're into the trusty highlands. I mean, can we? We can actually get up to there. Yeah, um, I don't think we're going to be able to get to the um, the shrine before it sinks. So I'm not going to worry too much about that. Let's stand here before we start climbing anything. I just want to see what that is. Oh, Juby. Lemons. Grab one of those. And some lemonade. Right, so, shipwreck. We're done. I came across an astounding discovery. The wreck of what looked like an old merchant ship. I couldn't help but wonder how it had come to rest here. The ship looked like it might still contain valuable supplies, but the rotten planks of the vessel could make the search quite dangerous. Too dangerous for me to do it. Uh, maybe not. I'm going to do it. Four? I'm not going to do it. We'll go quickly. The old rotten planks look too treacherous to risk. Fortunately, I did manage to find something without venturing inside. 
What the hell are they? Therapy paddles. Provides a gentle shock to alleviate the mood, elevate the mood even, and prevent quarrelsome behaviour. All right. Cool. Um, I think we need to get up to here, don't we? Oh, stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Go to there first. Tis the church. And I'm over... Why am I over there? Oh, low batteries. Okay. How many batteries do we have? two okay yeah I mean, everyone's low batteries that's not really going to help us a lot even if I did get to recharge someone so let's just go to the church. We'll drop some stuff off to send back to um, Paris. Am I not by the church? Oh, that's success. I was welcomed by the local missionary who seemed annoyed that we had interrupted his solitude. Oh, I'm sorry. The churches love me. I can't remember. Not this time around. All right. Uh, so let's um, trade first. We need... Uh, of course. Of course. So let's send stuff to Paris. Get rid of some of the golds. So you can go. You can go. You can go. And then... I mean... How much does he hold these up? 35. What would I get rid of? I can't, can I? I cannot. Hmm. All right, I'm going to have to stop, I think. And then we'll steal. Right, so donation. I presume it's not as much as that. So, tooth and lemons. Uh, oh, he likes jewellery. Of course he does. And a therapy paddle. Can I have the lemons back? No. Can I have the tooth back? I can. His demands met. The missionary allowed us to rest overnight. The missionary began to tell me more about the people of this island. He said that he has studied their culture quite a bit. But I was quite surprised when he mocked a village elder by making animal noises. The missionary grinned at me expectantly. The missionary erupted into laughter and patted me on the back. He proceeded to try and entertain me with more jokes and japes. Gotta laugh. Can't not laugh. Cool. Right, so let's try stealing. Uh oh. I heard a cry as the monastery's abbot grabbed Alfred Graves by the scruff of the neck, shaking him vigorously. He demanded in the name of God that he be allowed to flog the thief. No. If you'll see the man demanded I leave immediately, I was no longer welcome here. Cool. Oh, we're on 100% accuracy now, so that is definitely not where we need to go. However, I am intrigued, so let's go have a mooch. Just a hut. I encountered a worn, poorly constructed hut in the wilderness. A desperate looking man peered out at me, his pale emaciated form sparking pity. What's a large donation? Uh, 
He needs that tooth. He needs that tooth. That's fine. Shaken by my generosity, the man hugged me warmly, tears in his eyes. Despite the sacrifice, I felt glad to have helped here. All right. So it would appear this is where we need to be. Don't know why I did that. Meant to do that. Right. So, um, I mean, let's crack on. We may have to fight this big serpent. We may get away with it. Yeah, we got away with it. I approached the mouth of the cave trepidatiously, but not sure what to expect. Bones littered the area, and a foul bestial scent filled my nostrils. The treasure of legend awaited inside, but first I would have to get past the guardian or convince the locals to help me out. Well, we're going to take the old torch with us. Stealing my nerves, I lit a torch and crept inside the lair of the beast. The stench grew stronger as I proceeded into the bowels of the caves, and it wasn't long before I saw the outline of a great beast. In the dim light, I saw the glint of treasure behind the creature. It seemed the legends were true. Can I sneak? No. Let's kill it. Bringing a trophy the great thing would provide the proof that I'd come here to find. 120? Pshh. We got this. We got this. Let's let's get some fame pictures first. Um. Da, 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 da. What do you do? Immune to poisons and permanent. Mandible strike twenty. Poison spit. Right. So. Cool. So you and. Hmm, I don't think it matters really. You, I suppose. Gotta take that picture. Click. Right, uh, so we're gonna re-roll. I'm gonna attempt different ones of you. We'll keep the rest, I think. That'll do. So you and you. Strength boost. Um, get the electrocution up. That's uh, 10, 17, 24. No, that's far higher. Far higher! Zap de zap zap. Forty three. We can do this. We can do this. So let's throw the strength on again. Uh, we'll re roll. Hopefully, we'll get greens and reds. That'll do me. Wow, that is a shot. There we go. Meat and centipede legs. Sounds like a party. The guardian was slain and the treasure was mine for the taking. I could not wait to see it in its rightful place in the Museum of Lux Labs back home. Jeweled Scepter. Hurrah! Nice. And we're back. Lots of tickets. We've got 17 tickets before everything else comes back. And then the rest we're just gonna click through and see what we get. I mean, not as many as last time, but 24 is a fair dinkum amount of tickets. And more importantly, we get to choose a perk. So we can have zoom lens, reveals natural hideouts. Mycologist, free mushroom given at the start of each mush expedition. Yeah. A negotiation, that's that's pretty handy. Stealth or practical botany. I'm going to go with negotiation. Give us the monies. I was resting in my office, a steaming mug of tea before me. One of my tasks was listening to the demands of the Explorers Clubs, and I could hear the leaders at my door. Lady Philo approached me. It seems the Royal Avalon Society had demands. The way you brandished your power this year has been nothing but impressive. I'm sure your future decisions will be wise too, especially if they include some of my ideas. So...
so, 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 so. Uh, I'm going to go for unpredictable conditions. Because we've got the money we can spend in the ship shop. And there we are, 1892. Oh, it's beautiful here in Paris. Sunny. Lots of people around. I'm still not going to be happy by the amount of people, am I? The din and hum of the exposition was nowadays replaced by solemn silence. <laughs> Would the exposition soon be relegated to history? But I knew I could turn this around. Cool. And I think I'm going to leave that there. Next time around, we'll go shopping. Uh, maybe, um, oh, no, Andred's gone as well. That's fine. Andred the Green congratulated me on a job well done, giving me a firm farewell handshake. He hoped he would have opportunity to work together again in the future. Yeah, it's fine by me, mate. Check in. I'm sure I'll find you some business. Um, but yes, for now, thank you for watching. As always, like is appreciated. And I will catch you on the next one. Take it easy.